underestimating the cost of your renovation. So guys, this is one of the biggest mistakes I see novice and new renovators make. And you know what? Renovating for wealth is all about the numbers. If you have the wrong numbers, you are absolutely going to miss the mark. So what does that mean when you underestimate the renovation cost of your project? What it means is you might run into the situation where you've actually run out of money and you're going to have to take an unfinished product to market. And you know what that means? To be honest, more than likely it means that you're going to make a loss because rarely will someone pay top dollar for an unfinished renovation. So the places I see this usually occur are when people haven't researched the cost of labour and trades in their local area and when people don't use a specific formula for costing up their renovations. I remember once I was working with this client, it was only about two years ago, and both of the gentlemen that had bought this project were actually in the industry. They were both electricians, and they, I had been referred in by the real estate agent, who must have had a bit of a heads up early on that these guys, even though they were in the industry, had never renovated for wealth before. I came into the project and bless their cotton socks, even though they were in the industry, they had very skewed and maybe a little old fashioned ideas about the different costs of other trades and as well as products. With a $10 per square meter budget for tiles, I had to break it to them that for a $900,000 property, we're not going to meet the mark. So that's one of the first ways that I think it's so essential that you make sure that you have a set out and systematic budget to make sure that you never underestimate your renovation costs. Remember guys, that renovation costs is one of the biggest commitments you're going to be making in any project. And the greater the renovation cost, if you've underestimated it, the less profit you're going to make at the end. So it's absolutely essential that you First of all, have a system to track your costs. And second of all, at the end of every project, it's so important that you look at your actual costs versus your plan costs, and you make sure that you make adjustments either by finding cheaper product or finding more efficient labor, or you review your costing template to make sure that moving forward, you're never ever underestimating on your renovation cost.